Okay, here we're just going to be zesting the lemon before we juice it because we're going to need some of the zest. Okay, that should be enough for the zest. Put that over here. Now we are going to juice our lemons. We're going to need a half a cup. Okay, I'm just going to use a little strainer here for my bowl because these lemons have so many seeds. So I'm just going to use my reamer because it's quicker. We need a half a cup of lemon juice. Okay, now these, what I like to do with this, I don't throw them away. I put them in a little Ziploc bag and I put them in the freezer and throw them into the disposal when you want to clean your disposal and it freshens everything up really nice. Okay, I'm going to transfer you over to the stove. Okay, now in this little stock pot, I'm going to add the sugar, the cornstarch, and the water. And we're going to whisk it, make sure everything is smooth. Okay, we're going to wait till this comes to the boil and until the mixture becomes thick. I'm going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, now it's starting to thicken up and it thickens up pretty quick once it does. So I turn down the fire for just about 30 seconds, keep it moving, and then I'm going to turn it off. See how thick it is? Okay, but now we are going to add our butter. I just cut it in little cubes so that it melts faster. And keep it moving. We're going to add our lemon zest, our salt, and our lemon juice. Okay, now you start to whisk that together. Just be careful, go slow at first. Okay, now to get it more lemony color you can add this or you can just leave it out I like it it's just food coloring we're gonna add about five drops of yellow food coloring just to make it more yellow okay and that's it we're gonna set this aside for about 30 minutes and let it cool in the meantime we're gonna get the cream cheese mixture ready for the pie crust Okay, now for the cream cheese filling, here I have one eight ounce bar of uh, cream cheese. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. We are going to add some powdered sugar and some heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna blend this until all is nice and combined and creamy. It's gonna take a few minutes. Okay, now this is ready and as you can see, it thickens up quite nicely, okay? So we're going to pour this into our ready-baked pie crust. Now I do have a recipe for this pie crust. I will leave it up there in the cards and you can see the recipe there. This is already pre-baked, it's already cooled and we are going to pour this in to our pie crust. Okay, so here we go with this. Okay, we'll just take an offset spatula and then just flatten it out as much as you can. Even it out. Okay, now that's done. Just like that. Okay, now for the last step, we're gonna pour in our lemon filling right on top. Okay, and that's it. I'm just gonna bring you in for a close up. You put this in the refrigerator for about four or five hours or even overnight and then we will cut it. So I will be back later guys. All right, the pie is done. This is actually the next day. I didn't get a chance to finish this pie up last night. So we're gonna do the whipped cream now for the pie. And um, as you can see, the pie set up real nice. So I have some uh, heavy whipping cream. 
here. We are going to beat this until frothy. Then I'm going to add some uh, powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla. So I'm going to get started with this. Okay, now that we got this a little frothy, we're going to add in our powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. This goes so much quicker, guys, on the stand mixer. But I wanted to show you that you can do it on the hand mixer as well. And one pinch of salt. And then we're going to keep beating. Okay, this is ready. I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to give this a taste to make sure we're okay with sugar. Mmm, perfect. Let's, um, let me clean this up and let's dress our pie. Okay, so now for the whipped cream, I just put it all on top, no particular way. Just plop it on there as much as you want. Save some for the plate if you want. Just like that. Now if you want to decorate it with a cup of slice of lemon on top, you can. Okay, let me give you a close-up of this. Look how pretty that looks. Alright, let's cut into this guy. All right, guys, look at that. Beautiful. And you see how nicely it sets up? All right, let's give this guy a taste. All right, guys, we're going to give this a try. Look at that. Mm -mm. This is so creamy. A little tart from the lemon but not too much. The cream cheese balances it out along with the whipped cream and the crust is real flaky. And like I said, that recipe for the pie crust will be up here in the cards. This pie is delicious, guys. I hope you give it a try. Okay, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. The link is right there guys and the recipe and all the items that I used will be in the description box below and Also, I have gotten a lot of messages about people who would like to help support my channel And I will also leave a link where you can go if you would like to help support the channel And I would appreciate that guys. Thank you so much for all your help and sharing of this video And I will see you on the next one. Bye